the cosine function. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications. It is very important to the continuity of this channel. Before you work through this video, you will need to know how to graph the sine function. If necessary, you should refer to the following video which covers this topic. To graph the cosine function, we proceed as we did with the sine function. The cosine function y equals cosine of theta relates the measure of angle theta in standard position to the x coordinate of the point P where the terminal arm of the angle intersects the unit circle. Let's start with the unit circle. We see that the point P on the unit circle has coordinates x and y. The point P can move around the unit circle. The x coordinate of P is cosine of theta and the y coordinate of P is sine of theta. So, as the point P goes around the circle, its x coordinate is cosine of theta. As the point P travels around the unit circle and moving in a counterclockwise direction, the theta angle increases. When the point P has made it all the way around the circle and back to the original point, then the new angle is 2 pi radians or 360 degrees plus theta. The coordinates of point P repeat after point P travels completely around the unit circle. Of course, the value of cosine of theta is the same of theta plus 2 pi radians. Every 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, the cosine function repeats their values. So, just like the sine function, the cosine function has a period of 2 pi radians. To graph the cosine function, the horizontal axis shows the values of theta and the vertical axis shows the values of cosine of theta. We project the values of cosine of theta from the unit circle to the set of axes to get the graph of f of theta equals cosine of theta. It starts at the origin and moves up and down based on the values of cosine. The cosine of zero radians is 1. The cosine of pi over 3 is a half. The cosine of pi over 2 is 0. The cosine of 2 pi over 3 is minus 0 0.5. The cosine of pi is minus 1. The cosine of 4 pi over 3 is minus 0 0.5. At 3 pi over 2, it is 0. The cosine of 5 pi over 3 is 0 0.5. The cosine of 2 pi is 1, which is one full circle. Joining the dots as neatly as we can, we get a smooth curve. The cosine function can be continued beyond 2 pi. We can see the graph repeats itself every 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. Feature of cosine graph. The range of a function is the set of result values it can produce. The cosine function has a maximum value of 1 and a minimum value of mi minus 1. Therefore, the sine function has a range that goes from minus 1 to plus 1. Theta represents all the angles in the domain of the cosine function. We can rotate the point P as many times as we like. This means we can find the cosine of any angle 
in degrees or radians, no matter how large. In other words, theta can be any real number. Therefore, the domain is the set of all real numbers. The graph repeats itself every 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians. Therefore, the period is 2 pi radians. The amplitude of the cosine function is the distance between the horizontal axis, in this case the theta axis, to a maximum or minimum value. In this case, the amplitude is 1. We have just learned to draw the standard cosine graph. We now consider some of the possible transformations that can be applied to the standard cosine function and look at how these transformations affect the basic properties of this graph. The general cosine function is the name given to any curve that can be written in the form. The number a in front of cosine is the amplitude of the graph. The number b in front of theta minus k affects the period of the function. The number k is the horizontal shift, may also be called phase shift. If k is greater than zero, the horizontal shift is to the right, and if k is less than zero, the shift is to the left. The number c is the vertical shift. If c is greater than zero, the shift is up, and if c is less than zero, the shift is down. Sketch the graph of function. We start by comparing the function given with the general cosine function. But in this particular function, there is a 3 multiplied on the variable. So we need to factorize out the 3 that is multiplied on the variable to rewrite this function in the general cosine function form. We now see that the amplitude is 2 units. The vertical translation is minus 1, and the value of b is 3, so the period is 2 pi over 3 radians. k equals 2 minus pi over 6, so this is the horizontal translation. Draw the Cartesian plane. The distance between the midline and the x-axis is the vertical translation c equals 2 minus 1, so we draw the midline. The amplitude is 2 units, so the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 3. We determine the values of theta for the, for the start and end of one cycle from the given function. The period is 2 pi over 3 and the horizontal translation is minus pi over 6. We sum 2 pi over 3 with minus pi over 6. So we can think of starting the graph in minus pi over 6 and finish in pi over 2. As an aid in sketching the graph, we divide the period into four equal parts, each of length pi over 6. So, we start from minus pi over 6 to pi over 2. We now complete the table. Plot the five key points and connect them to obtain one cycle of the graph. Extend the graph in each direction to make it complete.
This cosine function has a range that goes from minus 3 to plus 1. Write one cosine equation for the function shown in the diagram. Determine the amplitude of the function. The amplitude is one half the difference between the maximum and the minimum value. The midline is parallel to the x-axis and is located half away between the graph's maximum and minimum values. In fact, the distance between the midline and the x-axis is the vertical translation. Therefore, c equals minus 1.5. The period is the horizontal distance it takes for the function to complete one cycle. The easiest way to find this is by looking at the horizontal distance from a maximum point to a maximum point. The period is 2 pi radians and b equals 2 1. For a cosine function, you can find the horizontal translation by looking at the x-coordinate of a maximum point on the curve. This could correspond to the origin on the standard cosine graph. Therefore, k equals pi over 4. We now can write the cosine equation.